Hello there, beautiful souls. Welcome back to the Craft of Wellness. My name is Kat, if you don't know me. Today, we're gonna dive into something that I personally have discovered can completely transform the way you feel. And not only just for the morning, but throughout your entire day. And I'm telling you, firsthand, I know what I'm talking about. And what I'm talking about is the importance of a soft launch to your day. It's like a gentle, intentional way to start your morning that helps you feel connected, connected within. And it helps you feel like you're setting up for a great day to be amazing, to feel amazing, to feel empowered. Now, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I know a lot of you are thinking, a uh, cat, I have kids or a cat. I hate mornings. They're so chaotic. I have to take the bus. There's lucky people. Oh, why hear me? Trust me. Trust me. I get it. I get it. I totally get it. I had three mornings or three mornings. I had three boys and I had chaotic mornings. And I also had like 10 different alarms to get me out of bed <laughs> across the room. But I promise with a little intention, with sort of awareness, and you got the right mindset and we can help shift it to that right mindset, you can actually create a morning routine that's not only going to feel luxurious and I love to start the day like that. And that actually brings in that calm, the focus, that positivity, that I'm empowered, I'm an eternal being and I'm going to have a great day. Right? So let's take charge of that and dive in. <laughs> so talking about soft launch. Full disclosure, I actually learned that from a colleague. It was one of his recommendations for a plan that we were working on for a kiddo. And when I started learning about a soft launch and why was it so important, like you might be thinking, right, like what does that even mean and why is that so important? I want you to kind of think of it like this. Hmm. The way you start your morning sets the tone for everything that follows. It it's like you begin your day in a state of calm because when you wake up, believe it or not, for a few moments there, you wake up, you're in a state of calm, right? Perfect time for manifestation, for setting your intentions because that's actually going to ripple throughout your day. Just like if you wake up in chaos and you have that moment, but boom, right away, you're running around, you're mindlessly scrolling on your phone, right? That chaotic energy is actually going to follow you around. It's just as simple as the law of attraction. Like attracts like. Whatever energy frequency you're at, that's what's coming at you. Okay. So there's some science behind it, like I said, right? And I think of it this way. When you wake up and immediately, like, dive in to those stressful activities like oh turning on the radio or listening to the news checking your phone um having to deal with kids fighting in the morning That's right real or a bitchy partner that can really mess you up too especially those few moments that you have and so your brain actually kicks into a high alert state oh like survival brain your cortisol levels you know the cortisol levels there should be like a cross across them you know it's a stress hormone and those will actually spike and when that happens <laughs> and you're not even out of bed yet your mind is already in that fight flight mode and like i said survival brain and we all know that doesn't feel great because we've all experienced it at some point some just more than others and some of us get stuck <laughs> but that's okay but when you give yourself that soft peaceful launch you allow your brain to like gradually ease into the day oh I like that Just ease into the day this is actually believe it or not tapping into the parasympathetic nervous system which we know is responsible for the freeze but it's also responsible for your rest and digest mode you know what happens after the traumatic event and also how you are able to not eat your children it's that mode that makes you feel calm centered engaged grounded and actually like people <laughs> that's your parasympathetic nervous system that helps you with that <laughs> so by starting your day intentionally you're literally setting your brain up to feel good i'll let that sink in for a second right so 
like I said, from my own experience, right? Having a soft launch feels like a little taste of luxury. Oh, I love it. It is so worth getting up for. <laughs> I love starting my day with a bubble bath. I really do. It makes me feel like I can stop time. That's freedom to me to have no time constraints. You know, sipping on a London fog. That's a taste of luxury in my mouth. It makes me feel like, yeah, I can do this. I'm wealthy. I'm healthy. You know, and I know not everyone has time for a bath in the morning. Like, I get it. Really? I get it. That's why I get up at five. <laughs> so I can have it. <laughs> it means so much to me. But that's just my own thing. And it took me a long time to get there. Not going to lie. Right? But for me, I'm at the place in my life where I'm like, I have time to connect with me. I need to connect with me before the world can even have a piece of me. Before I'm even good for the world, I need to connect with me. And having that kind of mindset really sets me up to have a good day and have really good boundaries because I ain't putting up with shit. <laughs> That's another video. Anyway, <laughs> you can create your own version of luxury. You know, it could be as simple as a cup of tea, five minutes of just quiet journaling, or even a morning stretch. The key is to really make it intentional. Something that makes you feel good and aligned within. Yeah, and with your like, highest version of yourself. Ask yourself, I do every morning, what would best-selling cat or best-selling author cat do? How would she like to wake up? Hmm. <laughs> oh, believe me, there's a lot of things she likes to do. That's another video. Anyway, <laughs> here's another way to create like a beautiful soft launch to your day, which is going to be really gentle and easy. Literally, just like stretching. Even just like putting your arm out, opening up wide. That right there is opening up your chest and your heart. So even just doing something a little bit that, like that. A, a moment, a deep breath in. That's going to wake up your body. You know, up like this tight and then down. Release tension that you might be holding on still from the day before or days before. <laughs> it doesn't have to be anything intense. Just some slow, intentional movements to just kind of get your energy flowing. It can be as simple as just reaching, <laughs> right? Just reaching for the sky, your arms up, rolling your shoulders back, mm. putting your hand to your heart, taking a deep breath in, standing tall and straight, right? Just those moments. That's all you need just to help release stress that might be stored in your body. You know, maybe it's even just sitting on your bed and pounding. That will also help release blockages, get your blood circulating, and that's just going to boost up your mood too, right? So we don't have to like start with this amazing routine like I have. It could be just simple as drinking a glass of water before you get out of bed which by the way, I'm still trying to work on. It, I know it's hard. <laughs> anyway, another beautiful way to start your day, which I actually really love, that's my hour on the patio, is journaling and a gratitude practice. Literally, gratitude is the currency of abundance. So just take a few minutes to write down your thoughts within it's your dreams in present tense, you know, affirmations, all about them. Or a gratitude list of things that you just really appreciate. Like hot running water on demand. I really like that. <laughs> Having a London fog in my own home. Appreciate that. The sun waking up on my face and the birds. I love that so much. So this gratitude practice is going to really help shift your mindset. And when you start your day from a place of gratitude, you're going to attract more good into your life. It's the law of attraction again. This whole energy thing, the more I learn about it, oh my goodness, ah, it makes so much sense. Okay, so now let's talk about the difference between, you know, that soft launch that I talked about and a chaotic morning. Huh, right? Huh. If you're running around, <laughs> it's chaotic, you can't find this, can't find that, where's this? You know, yelling at the kids, trying to eat, 
trying to feed them, get dressed, have a shower, do everything you need to do. Maybe your partner is e -e 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 at you, right? You're just trying to survive the madness and get out the door. <laughs> your brain is already in a reactive, stressed out state. It's like, you know, all those stress hormones are just going to go poof into your body. You know, that cortisol is going to go right through and be by your side all day, making you feel anxious and on edge. Well, I, I've had mornings like that. Oh my goodness, I hear clients that have mornings like that. My heart just hurts for them. You can really see how it impacts your mood, your decisions that you make, your interactions with others. Just take a moment and think about that. When you start off feeling that way, how the rest of your day goes. Ugh, right? It's like you should stay in bed. No, literally, go back to sleep and start over. <laughs> But when you start your day softly, even when it's just 10 or 15 minutes to start with, just of calm, it really changes everything. I wish you would have seen me before. <laughs> you feel more in control. You feel more centered and connected. You feel like you're able to respond to life's challenges because it happens. Oh, believe me, it still happens. But you're not reacting to them. Self-care actually helps you get through hard things with ease. At least more ease than if you didn't. And it helps you show up as the best version of yourself. Okay, I know it sounds wonderful, right? Yay, Kate. Yeah, Kat, look at you. So I get it. To all my parents out there, I see you. You're probably thinking, Kat, there's no way I can do this with my busy morning and my kids. Um, you don't know my kids. Oh, believe me. Oh, I, I know the kids. <laughs> That's my clients. I've been there. I have helped so many caregivers and parents. Mornings are so hectic. I get it. It seems like impossible to create any sense of order, let alone a soft launch with calm. <laughs> I get it. But you can do this even with kids. In fact, I'm working on a video all about creating a soft launch for your child too. I'm so excited. I have worked with so many families and caregivers on trauma-informed parenting strategies um, and interventions for years, for years. And I'm actually implementing those interventions for myself because <laughs> they work. Oh my goodness, they actually work. It doesn't matter if you're a kid or if you're a child. I've got so many tricks and ideas to help you create a calm, connecting home. So I'm so excited about that video and stay tuned. Oh, believe me, I will make it like a, a premiere because this is how excited I am about it. So my beautiful souls, I just really encourage you for right now today, right? Just start your day with a little intention. Maybe when you go to bed tonight, just say, you know what, tomorrow morning, I'm just gonna intentionally spend five minutes in the moment. And that's okay. Even if you're just brushing your teeth, be aware of what that feels like. You know, maybe just stretch a little bit further when you go to grab that toothbrush, right? Stretch up high like this. Open up your chest. Mm, say good morning. Practice gratitude. Just kind of like ease into the day. Your brain and your body and your spirit will thank you. Everybody around you will thank you. You will attract similar like people. <sighs> I'm so excited for you. Just start little and small, that's all. If you found this to be helpful and you like this video, hit subscribe to The Craft of Wellness. Check out our website, www.craftofwellness.com for more tips, self-care, wellness, living your best life, connecting to your higher version, trauma recovery, all about tapping. So like releasing all the trauma and emotions that are in you and just letting them go. I'm all about feeling good because that's how we were born. We are worthy. We are deserving. We are eternal beings having a human experience. So let's feel good doing it. <laughs> Until next time, my beautiful souls, Take care of yourself and remember, you are enough. Marissa Pierce has that campaign and I'm fully in it. You are enough, just like I'm enough and you're worthy. So have a great day. 
just start off with love and light in your heart and know that someone's thinking of you. Have a nice day.